For years I have worked with students at UCLA as well as members of our church and I've used a variety of discipleship curriculum in order to help uh, develop people in their understanding of the Christian faith. In a sense to really make disciples of all men. Over the last few years as pastor at the church uh, that I've been overseeing for quite a while, I've uh, realized that a lot of men who get involved in the church and want to be ministers in the church end up getting so consumed um, with serving as well as in Los Angeles where we are uh, dealing with full-time jobs and commuting that that I feel like they've been getting lost in the discipleship process. We've used curriculum that has required uh, answering a lot of questions, reading a booklet during the week, doing homework every day, and oftentimes they're topical studies in which uh, the men are required to look up multiple verses. And um, I think a lot of the curriculum actually is good and it works. However, for a lot of men who have a lot of pressures in life and are trying to serve, it's, it requires a huge time commitment. And I've felt that at the end of the day, once studying some theology or reading theological books or doing discipleship curriculum, they aren't uh, really getting grounded in understanding of God's Word. They've learned a lot of verses on a topic and know the topic, but they're not necessarily really grounded. So one of the things that I believed really needs to happen is that they need to get trained in uh, reading passages contextually. And if they're going to spend time studying, then I would like them to spend all of their time in the text. And so what I've done is I've developed a, a curriculum to help ground men in the book of Ephesians and Colossians uh, with the clear objective that all the time they're spending then in preparation for a class where we share what we're learning, all their time is spent in actually reading the text. And so I've asked them, for instance, to take in the book of Ephesians um, to focus on about a half a chapter a week, which is I've written a curriculum for that with questions that kind of lead them in studying it. But um, what they then are able to do is when they come to class to talk about what they're learning uh, specifically from their study of the text. And I'm using a, a process that involves outlining the text, which means they are doing a little bit more than just reading it. They're actually trying to put together a outline that uh, takes a look at paragraphs and every sentence um, in a passage and how it contributes to what we would call a paragraph or a thought. So that they're not only understanding the main points of a text, but they're understanding the arguments that support the points. And they're understanding that some of it is uh, subordinate thoughts and some of it are the major thoughts of a passage. And then at the end of the passage, they're um, assessing uh, what the central meaning of the passage is. And they're not then just pulling verses out of context, but they're understanding for instance in Ephesians, why the Apostle Paul actually wrote the passage the way he wrote it. One of the advantages is that you are getting, in, you're getting into uh, the, the thoughts of Paul as he's communicating the will of God and you're not getting sidetracked by perhaps doing a word study that just focuses on how that word's used in multiple places in the Bible, but that word has meaning in the middle um, of the context. Uh, uh, much like I feel if I tell my wife that I love her and a person did a word study of the word love, they wouldn't understand that the love I'm intending for my wife is different than using the same word that I say I love you when I say it to a brother in Christ. The, the word itself does not um, indicate the meaning as much as the context. You have to pay attention to context. My hope and goal for all of this is that the men get grounded in the book of Ephesians and understand everything related to the Christian uh, life in the context of Ephesians. And a part of this is remembering that the book of Ephesians was written by the Apostle Paul to summarize all the basic beliefs and commitments of the Christian life in six chapters. He wrote it to be inclusive of all relevant doctrines to the Christian life. And therefore, my hope is that if I get the men grounded in the book of Ephesians, they'll actually understand all the necessary beliefs to, um, and commitments 
uh, to living the Christian life in the church. And then my hope is, is that the men will actually be more grounded than they would if I took them through a discipleship curriculum or expect them to study theology. So we're in the process of doing that and I've developed the curriculum and I've developed a process for teaching them how to outline and we are, um, we're working on it and I'm hoping that maybe this video might help other people who might want to use what I've done, uh, use it to help mentor men or women and just learn about the Christian faith.